just want some. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just keep getting better. We are all done. Now, let's head back to Gondolia and see if we can cure dear little Placido. really got going while we were away. Oh, this is just too, too exciting. I can't wait to see the first contestant take the stage. Listen, boys, I want front row seats for this, so let's get organized. You two go and muscle your way to the front of the crowd and save us a space. Meanwhile, me and the girls will go put a song back into little Placido's throat. I can't wait to see his happy little face. Ciao for now. <sighs> so we get lumbered with the grunt work again, huh? Uh, whatever. Oh, Cielo, what an handsome pair. 
I think I have never seen such luscious hairs. Molto splendente. Surely you are entering la competizione, see? Si? Listen, Gramps, I know we're easy on the eye, but we don't have time to be. Hey, does that guy look familiar to you? <laughs> I had thought to search the town for you while the citizenry were occupied with this idiotic spectacle. But no. Instead, you choose to saunter up and greet me in broad daylight. Brazen fools. Damn it, it is. It's him. People of Gondolia, listen. And listen well. I, Jasper, Knight of Heliodor and trusted retainer of His Majesty, King Carnelian, come before you to tell you that the very Darkspawn himself is among us. The bedeviled child who brought about the destruction of Dundrasil. This is not good. Let's get out of here. Come quietly, accursed one, and I may not be inclined to make you suffer. Oh man, we've done it now. Damn it! They just keep coming! Your pathetic resistance will get you nowhere. Yield! And spare us the... Yield? I don't think so, honey. <clears throat> you leave my friends alone, or I'm going to have to teach you a lesson. Yeah! Honey. Who are these imbeciles? And how did they get past the guards? Uh, imbeciles, you say? We'll soon see who's the stupid one! <laughs> so you have friends, Darkspawn. Not for long. Ugh. <sighs> 
What are you doing? I bought you some time. Use it. Get out of here, now. Looks like we're safe for now. We were lucky to get out of there, you know? But we didn't all make it out. Poor Eric, he... Oh, I can't imagine what they'll do to him. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. Eric's tougher than he looks. I think. That Jasper was talking some nonsense, though, huh? I mean, why call the one who's trying to beat the Dark One the Darkspawn? Honey, that's just confusing. He isn't really the Darkspawn. That's just what the King of Heliodor thinks. It's all some terrible misunderstanding. I'm ever so sorry, Silvando. We should have explained all this to you earlier, but, well, so much has been going on. Oh, please, there's no need to apologize, darling. Darkspawn, indeed. As if a lovely little thing like you would go around with someone like that. Oh, Silvando. Now, are we gonna stand around here all night or are we gonna take action, huh? Let's sneak up to that bridge in the middle of town and see if we can spot where they're keeping Eric. Be quiet as mice now and use the buildings for cover. The streets are crawling with soldiers. In fact, let's see if we can get up onto the rooftops through the inn.
I know you are scurrying around in the shadows like the rodent you are, Darkspawn. Show yourself! Or you can stay hidden and see what happens to your friend. Something tells me he's not the patient type. We'd better get to Eric before things turn nasty. Ah, there's a gondola stop off to the northwest near the contest stage. We could sneak up close to them from there. Let's hop on a gondola and glide on over. Stage right and save the day. Mm -hmm. ah, so finally you scurry into the light. You rats think to gain the advantage by ambushing me while I am unguarded. I welcome the chance to tear you apart with my own hands, Darkspawn. Help! Yeah! 
goody. Fabulous, darling. <sighs> Brought to my knees, Pike. You vermin. Ugh, how could this happen? <gasps> oh, Eric, are you all right? Here, let me untie you. <clears throat> what devilry is this, Darkspawn? By what trickery did you manage to overcome Sir Jasper? It matters not. You have had your fun. Now accept your fate and give yourselves up. <laughs> All right, this is gonna seem crazy, but just trust me, okay? Geronimo! <laughs> True to form, the rats leap from the sinking ship. So much for your faithful friends, Darkspawn. Now, this ridiculous farce has gone on long enough. All that remains is for you to choose how it ends. Surrender to me? Or entrust your fate to the sharks that circle beneath. Oh! Sir Jasper, look! Hmm? Ah. How's that for a dramatic entrance, huh? Introducing the Salty Stallion, the finest ship to ever sashay across the seas. <sighs> Dave, be a darling and pull over to the quayside so my friends can hop on, will you? Right you are, Silva. All aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Get them! <laughs> Ciao for now, Jasper, darling. Bet you didn't see that ending coming. Ooh, I do love a twist. What are your orders, sir? They're getting away. They will not get far. Ooh, made it. And by the skin of our teeth. We owe you one, Silv. <laughs> oh, don't be silly, darling. Dave is the one you need to thank. It's his steady hand on the helm that steered us out of the jaws of danger. Stop it, Sylv. I'm just doing my job. No need to. Oh, blimey, what the heck's that? <laughs> huh? Oh, my goodness. It's disgusting. <laughs> I told you you would not get far. Enjoy your journey to the ocean floor. Now, my dear Tentacular, welcome your new friends to the loving embrace of the deep. Crikey, here he comes! Oh, I'm too young and beautiful to die.
What's that noise? Those are Gondolian merchant ships. What are they? Fire! that the cannons frightened it away! <sighs> hi! Hey! Hi! <laughs> uh, hi! He's safe now. See? Bene, bene. That monster always is harassing the ships in this area. Molto irritante. <laughs> hey, it's me, Placido. Listen, I can speak now. I have back my voice again. The boy, he tell me everything. He tell me it's you who cure him. And also, he convinced me that you are no darkspawn. That is no you who curse him in this way. He explained everything to me. Scusa, amici. I have done to you a great disservice. Some days ago, I play outside the town, and I observe Sir Jasper talking to the monster. He's scary, so I make a little scream. He hears me, and curse my voice so I cannot speak about what I see. It was horrible. So I learn that the one they call the Darkspawn save my boy, and the noble knights of Eliodor, they consort with the monsters. What does it all mean? I cannot understand. But I know that you are an hero. And an hero must escape to fight another day, see? Darkspawn! <gasps> Hear me. Today, you were lucky. But your luck will run out. And when it does, I will be there. If you're wise, you will live in fear of that day. Things won't be easy for you now. You defied the Heliodorians, and they don't like that. Don't let them grind you down, you hear? We live to see another sunrise. We're blessed. Blessed, I tell you. Oh, Dave, I forgot to ask. Have you heard any little birdies chirping about a merchant buying something called the Rainbow over in Galopolis? Oh, have has it happened, Silver? Word on the grapevine is the fellow what bought it headed over Zvardrust way. This really isn't just a game to you, huh? <laughs> Friends, sheepmates, amigos, Svartzrust and the rainbow await.
goodness. Just keep getting better.